while. Let's see. Uh, I'm just gonna hope everything works. Get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Not gonna spend too long. Some dude, okay. Ooh, I'm already using console commands. I'm already cheating. Uh, let's go. Wait, did you get a haircut yesterday? Oop, got a haircut right this second. You think my nose is too big? Sure. Change his facial hair up. Oh, I like your scarf. It's cute. All right, that's fine. And check, make sure I'm streaming on both platforms. Yep. Why am I not seeing chat though for this? Oh, multi stream. There we go. Yep. Why am I not? What's up, guys? Sorry, Ringo. I'm trying to figure out how to get this chat to show here. Uh, why is it not defaulting? It's defaulting to Twitch chat, which I don't want. Yeah, everyone's not happy that I took down the other videos, so. Uh, so I got to start again. Something's wrong with my chat here it's not working it's not working in streamlabs it's not showing the chat so i have to have the stream open which is not ideal but i might deal with it what's up james oh did i cross ak i didn't even notice i crossed ak okay Okay, because the other videos are gone. Morning, your Thanks, Cuddly. Of course, sir. Enjoy your coffee, sir. What is showing on the stream there? There we go. Okay. It's my precautions. Codsworth. It's been pretty steady, James. It hasn't gone crazy. Still trying to get to 10k so that I can do a... Uh... Sure. Okay, we're on very hard difficulty. Trying to get to 10k so I can do a survival playthrough because that was my goal. Um, it's... Like, dying doesn't matter. It's not a speed run. It's just what I consider playing perfectly, which is getting all the level 4 merchants, setting everything up perfectly, getting a experience farm set up perfectly, just, just setting up things in, a, in an optimized way. I probably will have to re-remember everything, though. Don is here, as all is here. I, I don't know why it's like way behind. Joy is a passive income. Yeah, that's what we got to get going. Hey, hon. Can't believe it's almost Game sounds are coming through. Really? Are you sure? 
There should be when when it's actually on. Right there, I see game sounds going. Might be quiet. Can you get the door? Whenever I answer, he just asks for you over and over. All out three equals four. Okay. A <laughs> survival run. I can't remember how I started last time. I think I start with ten intelligence, and that's really the only thing that matters. Enough charisma to, yeah, probably just charisma and intelligence, strength. Sounds. Uh huh. Sure. Uh huh. What's my name? What's my name? Uh, intelligence has got to be 10 to maximize uh, experience gain. Charisma, what do I need? Six, five or six for all that stuff. I'm trying to think if there's some necessary stuff here. For settlement building, I need intelligence. Charisma, what else do I need for settlement building? Strength for some of the things, uh, for like... For armor, but I don't think that's it. science is intelligence. Charisma has a bunch of stuff. Perception. Like we're gun nuts and gun nuts and intelligence also, right? Kind of forgot everything. I need perception for anything. If I need it for anything, I can always when I level up, I can always invest. So strength and endurance for carrying stuff. Running. Perception for locksmith. I don't need locksmith right off the bat, though. Five. Generic villager, James. Congratulations on 3,500. Wonderful. <sighs> um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. It's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Hey, hon. Mr. Dan. Sean has been Mr. Dan. Get out of my way. I need to get out of his way. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Send him over a bit. He loves that. Now the most annoying part of this is going to be farming the uh, <laughs> the plus two intelligence Listen, jacket. I was thinking. Yeah, sounds like fun. Yeah. Uh huh. Mom, should come and see this. Followed by yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. Oops. I'm trying to check stuff, but this game's not very good at keeping the window active when I'm looking at stuff. So. Whatever. Confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh my God. We we need to get to the. Oh. Uh, freaking out. Invulnerable armor. Which invulnerable? You mean the endurance armor? So I can run forever? Or... Oh, the ballistic one that makes it so the explosions don't hurt me at all. We need to get in. We're on the list. Oh, you know what? Idiot Savant is important. Oh my god. Okay, I need to set luck for Idiot Savant. Because that's going to maximize experience. Luck 5 for Idiot Savant, I believe. Is the game volume coming through now? Uh, I don't know where Fallout 5 is going to be. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god! 
is very quiet. How about now? It looks like it's like just a little bit quieter than I'm talking. Oh, you know what? I forgot to do a hard save outside. I think you have to hard save outside, right? Because the, uh, the loot gets generated right as you get into the vault. Fallout 5 in 2035. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you. For some reason, it's, um, the chat is, like, taking a minute to catch up, and then it's not showing up on the screen very well. Hold on. I think I just need to... Whatever. Excuse me. We need to get in. We're on the list. Jerks we are. The vault tech rep. So if we hadn't signed up like five minutes ago, we wouldn't be on the list. Thank you. You two, follow me. Come on. What's gonna happen to all those people outside We're the doing gate? Everything we can. Now keep moving. Step on the platform in the center. Yeah. And for some reason on the stream, I can see the chat, but on my Streamlabs OBS, I cannot. That's very It's going to be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god! This is bizarre. Whatever. I think I have to just watch the stream instead. Respond to chat. Game is still quiet. Really, Vault Tech rep is gone. That's a shame. We did it. We made it. We're okay. Everyone, please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future for underground. I need to learn the speedrunner strats to get through this area quick. This way. Email and good. Step over to the table and take a seat. Just step uh, over to the table. Thanks. Well what now? Just follow the doctor's lead. He'll show you where to go. All right, you two. Follow me. It's gone. Our home. Everything we had. Sir? I suppose so, AT Kid. It's actually like 3.0. Just buying time until, uh. Hey. Just follow your guide. He'll step you until Starfield. Is here for you. Just follow your guide. Excuse me. Follow me. This way, please. Take your time. Take your time. Who's my little guy? I'm not. will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. <sighs> Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. In five, uh, vault stage probably go to sanctuary and uh yeah scrap everything build water whatever's left over as far as wood build shelves whatever's left over as far as steel build uh poison caltrops six 
we can't actually do much outside of sanctuary because we're trying to get the level four merchants and it's very easy to break their spawns so the process we'll probably be stuck here forever though You know what, I think I can hard save right before this cutscene. That might be better, actually. Or, I'm not sure, I can't remember if you can hard save before this or before the... Before actually entering the vault. I think it might have to be entering the vault, but I'm not... I, no, 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 it's before this cutscene. That's right. So I don't have to go through the vault thing again. Although I will next time. I think it's just before this cutscene, then everything gets generated. But you have to watch this cutscene over and over again. Yeah, crap. So, I uh, did it wrong, but maybe we'll one-shot it, who knows. There's two places I usually check. I think there's only two places it can spawn in. Yeah. Even Trash Can Carla's not safe. There's a... So what I was wondering is, since Trash Can Carla, I think, is in the same cell as the Concord... As the Concord's campsite, it might be okay to check it first, and as long as it's not one of the vendors... Then we can do Concord and get Trash Can Carla, and that'll give us a jump start on settlements, right? I don't think that'll be a problem. Got to remember where to check. I'm not going to kill anything because it's probably going to reset. Here. Uh, I think first place to check is the. Overseer's room. Giant That's the main place. Roaches? What the hell? Right here. Nope. Nope. But I swear I've seen it in at the end before as well. Yeah, that's right, she has a girl. I check over here. Uh, 10 millimeter round. I think that can be it as well. Ah, crap. I need to do a hard save right before the cutscene. Carla also has a fluid encounter near her. But I don't think I've ever seen a vendor at that fluid encounter. Is it possible a vendor's there? Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Oh my god! Hold on! I don't know. We'll see tomorrow. Really? Uh oh. I don't know where that encounter is exactly, though. Where, where's that encounter? I wish there was, like, a map that just had all the encounters. Isn't it weird how the uh, chat just pops on the screen, like, ten at once? We made it out. We're okay. Everyone, please, step off the elevator. Proceed up the stairs and Buggy crap. Fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. Oh, Better future underground. We'll see how much interest I keep in this for the next couple weeks. Uh, thanks. What now? Well, a lot of people are saying they like to watch this while they're doing their own version of their perfect playthrough. And uh, since I took the previous one down, they didn't, they're not too happy. I'm sorry, honey. What if they didn't make it? I know you 
left or right of the road where it runs perpendicular to where you find Carlo. Yeah, I took down all my videos that have uh, my face in them. Hey there. Just this way. This way, please. Follow me. This way, please. Take your time. You've got all day. Just step into the chair. Oh, we need a hard save here. Oh, I didn't check on Sean. What a jerk. Yeah, I'm um changing careers, and it's a type of career that uh, I just don't want co-workers to find. You know, I don't do anything wild on stream or anything. I'm not I show speed or anything, but, uh, you know, I feel like if people knew about my stream at work, it would make me more self-conscious about what I do. So I'm just being a little safer. Yeah, I didn't comfort him. What a jerk. I think there's a Louis C.K. joke about, like, you can just yell at a baby and it doesn't matter because they'll just forget it. But they'll grow up with, like, a you know deep sense of, of uh, pain. Tomorrow, um, it's up to you. I don't use it because I think some of the bugs it fixes aren't actually bugs. Uh, I think they just make, you know, their own subjective decisions on what needs to be fixed. And most of the stuff that needs to be fixed, there's a, I have my own workarounds for. So I think it would just confuse me more than, than help me. Because I've been playing without the unofficial patch for so long. All right, take care, Ringo. Got him. This is like Groundhog Day, you just get to see your wife get shot over and over again. I wonder what the actual chances of the, uh, the coat dropping our vault -Tec lab coat. I feel like it's around one in five, but uh, that's just a total guess. Based, just based on me playing through the game a lot. Kind of annoying that they have a random drop like that in the tutorial, though. Oh, that's a that's a tough fix, Istvan. Luck doesn't help random drops at all. Luck helps crit. Luck doesn't have anything. Unless there's serious proof to the contrary, then there's no way I believe it. St. New Vegas. Where you can gamble with 10 luck and win. <laughs> Giant. Roaches? What the hell? Check here first. Oh, there it is. Hey, second try. Yeah, boy. We're not gonna be here all day, thank gosh. Thank goodness. Punching some roaches. Bingo. Well, I'm happy I don't have to redo this over and over again. Used your method to get the level 4 vendors on PS5. Worked great. Took some time, though. Not sure there are other ways without your method or the console commands. Thank you. I'm, I'm happy that worked for you.
Why would they think unyielding is not supposed to be on every piece? I mean, it's on every piece in Fallout 76, even. Oh, I didn't pick up the baton. I didn't pick up everything here. That's not a perfect start. Uh, I want to unassign. Let's go get the baton. Since I, I skipped everything because I was scouting out the... Aren't there two batons here? Oh, and some stim packs. I missed a lot. The uh, vault Tech lab coat. Oh, it's in the cryopod room. Yep. And this junk, plus you gotta get a high score on that game for it to be a perfect playthrough, right? I actually thought when I first played this game, I thought that the high scores were like, linked online, so I thought it was, you know, like an online leaderboard. And over here, right? Oh, I didn't even grab the ring off of uh, Nora. Nora the Explorer. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, God! I like how I'm freaking out right now, but I've just been casually walking around the whole time. I'll find who did this. And I'll get Sean back. I promise. I don't think it's our future. We've already diverted from the timeline. Junk. Did I get everything? I think I got enough. Oh. Uh, this way, I think the bedroom, I missed some cups. Here. Elf. Ah, I hate this. I hate that it's the same button for pickup as it is for interact with stuff. It's it's one of the most annoying things about this game. Oh, I'm not savvy enough. I'm not smart looking enough. I need some glasses too. There we go. Besser. Oh, yeah, this is Donkey Kong. I never played well at Donkey Kong because I don't really understand what you're supposed to do, actually. You not get hit by these things, but...
Ah, it reversed. Power armor. Does that make me invulnerable? Apparently it does. Oh my god, this is annoying. And the ladder change position? Can you go up, please, ladder? No. Let's go! I don't think I've played any of the games, except I might have touched this once. Oh, you can't go up ladders when you're super powered? Okay. Oh! Wait, you're not supposed to die there? I mean, you're not supposed to run into him? What are you supposed to do to kill him? Hi, friend. What am I supposed to do? You're supposed to hit him when he's not looking? No, he's... Oh, you have to knock out all the pegs, okay. Kirk? Captured again? It's hopeless at this point. They keep getting captured. I knew I was going to screw that up. DK Donkey Kong. Ah! <laughs> I thought I was on the ladder. Okay, high score. Is that the high score? Okay, whatever. Top 10. Oh, you can't even get your name on the top 10. Okay, never mind. All right. Well, now I've played that game. And it is a blast. It might be better than Fallout 4, actually. Oh, I exited out before I got to get in the top 10. Well, shoot. Couldn't, I mean, it didn't say enter your info or anything. Where would my score have been? Next screen. I... Okay. It's always next perfect playthrough. So yeah, it, for it to really be a perfect playthrough, you have to play uh, at least ten games and, and get every single high score, right? Alright, so I need some luck. I, 
believe it's five for that. Okay. I don't really care. It's true masochism, exactly. <sighs> Enjoy your return to the surface, and thank you for choosing Vault Tech. Lab code is too intelligent. Now, what I would really need to get lucky is the uh, that floppy hat. But even I'm not going to go crazy enough to soft reset for that. Ushanka hat. I never played the missile, never tried missile command. Yeah, vault tech lab coat, two intelligence. <laughs> You mean from like Nuka World Arcade? As I live and breathe. Oh, it's... God, what? What a... What? She's... Sir, uh -huh. it's been ages. Sean's... Doesn't matter how long. God's work. Stay with me, pal. Focus. Uh, I'm a... Thank you, Codsworth. You're, you're welcome. Now, and up, shall we? All right. Oh, I'm getting wrecked. Very hard difficulty, okay. Uh, okay. It's not great. bed that's tactical just build a bed real fast though I think he just killed everything mr. Dan it's fine it's neo metal I keep forgetting to thanks for you're just pointing me in a oh no I didn't mean to call him useless and I hit him? Whoa, geez, I am angry right now. <sighs> Forgot YouTube is like forcing everyone to use their real names now. Or not forcing, but uh, encouraging, I guess. Same old scrapping. One's done it a million times. 
No scrap all allowed. the scrapping there's a loading screen where tip where it says that drinking water is a tactical decision as you get HP but take rads oh I understand so tactical I mean, maybe if you're drinking from, like, a river or something. Does anyone have a method to the madness of scrapping? Like a route you like to go? I was also thinking... I should do my food a little bit more tactically if I can get a hold of potatoes, uh, corn, and what's the other one for vegetable starch? Corn, mutt fruit, cute fruit. I call it mutt fruit and get made fun of. Don't make fun of my pronunciation of mutt fruit. I was trying to think, so, like, alliteration is when you have the first sound the same, you know, uh, like, the first letter is the same. What if you're just, like, rhyming the syllables, syllable rhyming? Is there a, a word like alliteration for that? So, like... Mute fruit, because they rhyme, rather than mutt fruit, which doesn't rhyme. Yeah, it's called rhyming, you idiot. Scrap everything. I think I have to level up once to unlock the uh, better water purifier. And then from that, oh, and then I need to uh, do it again. Is it science? Is it the same one for both? Science for uh, the poison caltrops as well? Oh, no, that's chemist. So I need chemist for poison caltrops, and I need science for the water purifier upgraded one. Miss the Mentats. Jeez, I made videos about that. How can I miss it? Yeah, science first. Science is the priority. I didn't even clear this house well. Stupid caps that you have to actually get out of the scrapping menu to pick up. Uh, yes, I did. And I cannot assign a settler to Entat duty, apparently. Hopefully one of these dressers has some goodies in it, especially a charisma suit, or even better, a Nushenka hat. Not very efficient at scrapping here. 
I never claim to be efficient. Oh man, it is the name. Crap. Busted. Caught in 4K. I don't even stream in 4K. This guy, you're special. We will probably see you in about 10 hours. <laughs> when I do the, uh, the janky trick. That is the borderline one that people don't like. Find the endurance trick for that. It's just too too cute not to do though. And endurance is such a good dump stat. The perks suck, but the uh, as far as like dumping points, it's awesome to dump into. Yeah, well, I don't dupe. I don't dupe the book. My uh, exploit is a little cuter. Yeah, I get a lot of comp people who are like, "You should be duping. If you're gonna go through all that effort, you might as well dupe." But it would just, you know, that would really just make everything meaningless if I allowed for that. I mean, some people think that sitting around building shelves for an hour isn't fun. I don't know what's wrong with those people, though. The fences are almost not worth scrapping because they only give one each. I'm sure, you know, it adds up to a few extra shelves, but... Oh, that was weird. I need to go in that basement thing. So, some more hub flowers here. I don't think I'll need it because I'm going to have enough charisma, but actually, for selling, it could be helpful early on. And wild mute fruit. Why is it wild here? Hey, what do you do for the lag of Boston downtown area when I play my Xbox? It freezes a lot. Um, I don't play Xbox, and I don't experience lag in Boston downtown. So I don't have a great answer for you. Maybe chat has an answer. I only had a bobby pin. Got to get uh, Caitlin to open that up for me. Here. Can't listen to music because stupid channel gets flagged. Did I grabbed the duffel bag on the roof. I did not. You have to build a ladder to get up there, right? It's the same building. Or you can, oh, I didn't even know about this tree. I think I usually built the ladder to get up there. Sick platforming. Oh, I'm the master of platforming. First try, first try skip. I don't know what what Xbox mods would help with the loading issue. There's a great new mod that fixes the pre-combined problem, makes NPCs less derpy about walking around. Oh, that's cool. Nav mesh. 
I can scrap the bag itself. Oh. It's camo. Oh, is it cloth? I think it gives cloth, right? Jeez. So I missed the bag, is what you're saying. So to be perfect, I have to run all the way back here and scrap the bag. Uh, Eo Metal holding me accountable. Two cloth. That's a bed. That's a bed where I'm from. Two cloth and one steel or something like that. How did I miss that? I did empty the basement, Mod Hunter. Or, you know, mostly, I think. Uh, we got rad roaches, or, uh, yeah, Rad Roach is coming up. Get the dog bowl. So if we do a pretty thorough job scrapping, I think we can build, what, like two large water purifiers and enough power for them. Oh, I just want to see what's in here. Casual outfit. No. It's casual. Casual is not plus two charisma, is it? It's like plus one agility, plus one endurance or something. Not uh, meshable. Are you gonna go into the two infinitely spawning X set? No, I'm not. What's up, Mac Daddy Death Jam? The Lone One Wonder. The Lone Wonder, I like that. I missed the cabinets. Oh my god, please don't accidentally scrap the chem station. I also didn't get the backyard here. The whole barbecue grill here. There we go. It's a lot of steel. The important. I mean, I might when I, if I start, whoa, this stuff's not scrappable. How do they make the decision to say, like, these trees are not scrappable? These trees are scrappable. Like, if I decide to do the, uh, what's the, the masochist, the junkie build, then it can be important. Otherwise, I don't really have much need for X cells. Oh my god, Coastal Cottage is the worst. Dresser. I gotta check all the clothes I got. See if I got anything cool. Should also do an F5 in case a rad roach kills me or something. And yeah, some of these like random picket fence posts that are just in the trees or right on the edge and you can't get rid of them. That's why I give, I, I give Coastal Cottage to the raiders. Let them have it.
Tried the gunner cage farm idea and it's not very fun, but it worked. I didn't do anything fancy, just set up like 35 of them in a row in Sanctuary, reached level 98 before uh, previous high was 60. Yeah. Yeah, that, that can work. Good. No! Tab cancel. Very close there. You guys were waiting for it, right? Hey, and Frankenberry. Yeah, why did they make the hedges? Possible to scrap. Why don't you guys ever join when I'm playing Elden Ring or Path of Exile? As the fanboys. All of you. A lot of you. And are you guys going to be here when I'm playing Starfield? I'm going to F5 now before I accidentally scrap the wrong thing. And look at this. What is this? What is this just like mythical indestructible lantern here? Cool. Very mintets. Do I have the materials to make? Grape mentats when I'm. Is it grape or berry? Oh, berry, yeah. The the do I have the materials to make that? For when I'm doing shelving and stuff? I forgot. Faction you gonna side with? That's a tough call, man. Usually um, I do Minutemen. I just think Minutemen is sort of like the independent Vegas. It's just, it's the ending that makes the most sense to me. It doesn't give the best rewards. If you're into collecting things like power armor, then it doesn't give the best rewards there either. But before you commit to anything, you do all the quests with every faction. That way you get most of the rewards anyway. Don't make anyone mad unless you until you absolutely have to. Now back. Did I miss some trees? These are the unscrappable ones. Jerk trees. And then this giant tree is scrappable. Okay. Makes perfect sense to me. I'll do another check around. For more trees. Edex? Yep. I needed a break from um, Elden Ring. It's been just destroying me. Especially when I watch people who actually are good at the game. It just makes me feel so inferior. Yeah, I always miss something. Then you got to go through like the middle of town to get all these light posts and stuff, which just give a ton of uh, steel.
poorly wrong? Yeah, probably. Everything is just depends on your perspective as far as morals, right? Okay, this is the worst vats ever. Okay, there we go. Squish. Got the squish. First squish missed, apparently. Talking down the Brotherhood. Yeah. Taking down the Brotherhood, sorry. That you're saying talking down to the brotherhood. Well, take down the brotherhood with the railroad. Yeah, wounding combat shotgun to the face. Institute style. Right. I think we're about 30% done scrapping, guys. I don't know why, this is how I always set it up. I put the chem station around here. Oh no, wait, sometimes I move the cooking thing over here, actually. Yeah, I always put the armor workbench here, weapons workbench here, and then usually I'll put this right here. I don't like it on the cement, because it just seems like it, even though there's probably more of a fire hazard in the grass. I don't know, it just feels weird having fire on the cement here, so set it off and then I always get it backwards let's see stand uh that's not too bad Good. is my chem station backwards yes it's, the chem station always throws me off because it's got this bar which looks like it should go on the back side right this thing right here this bar right here looks like it should be on the back but it's actually the front oh front battle for bunker hill yeah i like to kill them all even allied ally to them just pick them all off get just a ton of loot make sure before that battle you're uh you've got the thing that makes it so you don't go slow when you're over encumbered and you can fast travel pack rat right we got some more Check the middle area now. Hey, the air looks like it does here right now. Anyone in a in an area that's having wildfire smoke? Seems like wildfires are happening just everywhere right now. Special stats, real quick. I, I mean, I don't think I perfectly optimized them, but the main thing is luck five and intelligence maxed out because. We're going to be focusing on getting as many levels as we can. And Charisma 6 is going to be helpful because uh, we need... We need local leaders, so local leader is important. Other than that, I don't know that the stats really matter. Unless I miss something. We need, we need intelligence for chemist and... Oh, no, that's chem resistant. Where's chemist? Okay, we need int seven for chemist, and we need int six for science. Those are the two things that we're building off of. Prisma to buy more shelves. Yeah, we are gonna be buying and selling a lot. I probably should have cranked, I'd probably get uh, Prisma up to 10 as quick as possible for when we get trash can Carla here. Start buying and selling. Um, I'm pretty satisfied with how much I've scrapped. Let's 
check back here. I didn't, I don't think I finished this house. Maybe I did, okay. I don't know if I checked back here. I don't know. I did not check back here. A lot of wood. Wall pictures. I tried. There's a bit of ammo next to the road. Was that the mailbox which was on the ground? Huh. Now I'm trying to remember the mailbox. You mean like the big mailbox near the entrance of this place? Up here? Ammo on the ground? I don't know. Too far. Place where you find the cooking station over here. Oh, there's a mailbox on the ground. Uh, oh, right there, 38 round. Okay, is that a single 38 round? Uh, okay, let's do another quick scout for... Stuff I missed. One 38 round, that's beautiful. Cannot believe this stuff's not scrapped. Oh, this one is though. <laughs> that one is. The rest aren't, but that one is. Uh, okay, I missed these trees. That's a lot of trees. Good. Be satisfied. The invisible tree. Missed it. I was scrapping. Oh, I didn't finish the playground area. Yeah. And I didn't finish this area either. I kind of. I don't know. Where's the good place to plant stuff here? I also need to get. I think Carla sells some food, right, that I can plant. I really don't like the melons at all. I think they're just a huge waste of space. Where's the best place to plant? Over here somewhere? This is not too bad, I guess. Up by, oh, I didn't do, I didn't go in the river. You are correct. A lot of wood and a lot of steel in the river. Oh, there's more gourds out back. frame yeah, I'm done with the move thanks for asking yeah the moves all good got the engine on the other side of the river and drag it back to scrap what what Oh, can I scrap this stuff, by the way?
That engine right there? Oh, that's a rock. Oh well, that's fine. Getting Tato's from Abernathy. Yeah. I can't go to Abernathy. I don't think it's, I think it's too risky right out of the gate. But once I can, I can definitely just reset the farm. Other end of the bridge. Hey, Ian. I was working on a RL1 run for uh, on, uh, Elden Ring, but it was beating me up, so I leave up. I got to Radon. Radon was beating the crap out of me. The game's kind of too... Elton's kind of... As weird as it sounds, it's kind of too easy if you're good at character building and, you know, the kind of stuff that I'm good at. But mechanically, you can make up for being bad mechanically just by building your character insanely strong. And then it doesn't matter. But... In order to actually get good at the game, you have to, like, handicap yourself to play. So I was trying to do that. Wasn't working great for me. All right. Kind of satisfied with where I'm at now. Oh, I forgot the grognac. There we go. Okay, let's see what we got, by the way. And I'm going to rest until the morning. We got Charisma Glasses. We got Charisma Clothes, two sets. Oh, okay. Here we go. Yeah. Hot lid can be scrapped. Get it. Couldn't get on it. I don't know. All right. I think we're good enough to build. I'm going to go ahead and do a hard save here. I think I need to level once. Oh, my goodness. Look at all that wood I missed. This guy, too? Okay. Well, maybe I'm just terrible. So, what I can do... I start setting up my power thing here. Water. So we want industrial water purifier. We're going to build two of these for 80 water, which means I need 10 of four small generators or two medium generators. Four small. I think I should just do small. I think I don't think that's going to affect my ability to build large. Uh, the two large purifiers. I don't think they share enough skills, so I think it's fine. I don't really want mediums. They take too much space. Everyone complains about how I don't line these up perfectly. And look at that, I got a level from that, so that's exactly what I needed. Now we level up science. Science! She blinded me with science. I am, I don't have any intelligence glasses, so... Fashionable glasses don't hurt, right? Better to do. Oh, I needed to. I need to get uh, idiot savant too. That's fine. Idiot savant will be the next thing I level. Uh, water resources. Okay, we actually have enough to build three. Uh, and I just need one more small purifier. We'll actually have enough for one more small purifier. Uh, 
on. Give me a good placement here. Look at that. Now the issue is, do I have enough connectors? I should. Yeah, I built four of them. I just need a fifth one. goodness 120 water right off the bat i guess that's what i did before i only remember being able to build two i guess i wasn't as thorough with my scrapping all right so we got the water do another hard save and then i think i can start shelving i'm just gonna shelve for one more level and then i'm gonna put it in idiot savant and then i'm gonna shell for another level put it in chemist then i'm gonna build poison caltrops and come back to shelving. Sounds like a plan. Uh, I also wanted to check to see if I can craft the Mentats. I don't think I can. I'm at the end of Far Harbor. Should I go for Protector or Destroyer of Acadia? <sighs> I don't know. Are either of those perks very good? For some reason, the only perk that I can think of that's good is the Atom one, but yeah, I think the Protector of Atom or whatever, Atom's Child, I forgot the name. I don't think I can. Let's see. Antifreeze Bottle and Tarberry. Okay, I don't have either of those. That's fine. Pommel Horse for plus agility. Yeah, one pommel horse. You're not sure, just one DLC? Wow, that's a tough call. I mean, I think if you want the most content, you pro or and the best as far as story goes, probably Far Harbor. I would say the, the mechanist thing is not very good. Yeah. Vault tech one is pretty good as far as adding stuff that you can build. It's great for that. Um, Far Harbor, I think, has the best story and the richest content. Nuka World will give you the most powerful stuff, though. Because it was the last expansion, so they get, they put the most powerful gear there. Yeah, we won't put shelves. Oh, I need well-rested as well, huh? I think I'm still well-rested, probably. That is no. Okay, I am well rested. All right, good. Yeah, I, I should make sure I have enough. Like, I don't want to. I guess I shouldn't use all my steel. That's a good call. Um, idiot savant. And I guess I'll just do more shelving for another level real fast. Hopefully we'll get some idiots of on procs here. Where's my auto hotkey script? I don't have it ready, so I'm just gonna match. Hey, look at that, right off the bat. Eight days until Starfield, yes. If you pre-order. I can justify pre-ordering and I can justify getting the game of the year edition. Because, um, you know, I don't make a lot on YouTube, but I make enough that I can say buying games is covered by YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> that's, 
That's about all I could do. Just buy a game. You like wire fences? I just like not moving. Um, chemist? Okay. Build some poison caltrops. So if anyone is new to this, the reason we do poison caltrops is they're cheap to make and they sell really, really well. So this is going to give us a lot of uh, money, essentially. And you need chemists for this. These, The value of these, the base value, is 40. If you don't have chemists, it's 25 with the same materials. And so as far as like steel cost versus poison caltrop cost, it, it's a money maker. And you do need Far Harbor for this. For me, it's not enough to make a living and it's it's just a little little bit of extra money. Like it's enough that I can get coffee and buy a game in a month if I want probably. <laughs> That's about it. It's not why I do it. Have I found a replacement spot for steps since I'm no longer near the lake? What do you mean? Oh, you mean for walking? No, not yet, because the air has been really, really bad here. Yeah, you're asking real life stuff, okay. Yeah. Uh, the air has been really, I, I was asking about this in chat if anyone else is getting wildfire air. It's finally been starting to clear up a little bit. I didn't realize there was a problem here. Unfortunately, it is, so. Let's stick at 500 for now. Uh, I wanted to tra transfer junk. Okay. So we have 111 poison caltrops. That's quite good. <sighs> Where am I going? I was doing shelving back there. I don't know. Just zoned out for a second. Yeah, cow traps are good money. Yeah, I mean, YouTube can obviously pay well if you're huge. Um,. But I think most people who are on YouTube, even ones that are pretty successful, like by standards that you might measure, like they probably can't pay rent with their YouTube. Um, they probably still live with their parents or roommates or whatever. Um, they might make a decent amount, but it's pretty tough to live off of YouTube. Unless you're in like the at least several hundred thousand subscriber mark. Oh, you're still getting the air quality alerts? Ugh. Well, I was going to check to see if this uh, got deposited yet. That's what I was going to check. I think I have to sleep first. Oh, I need to take out all this aid. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about. Take Always remove all the aid from your aid tab because it can affect uh, getting new stuff. So what I do is I always build a little container, which usually I'll build a little cooler guy like this, and I'll just put it right next to my... Uh, workbench, and uh, then I can just deposit all my aid. Uh, did I go backwards? <laughs> I transferred. I transferred all my aid into the workbench. Yeah, and you definitely. And uh, some people will soft reset until that happens, or uh, just save scum until that happens they'll sit there and save scum until they get it even though they have like 10 intelligence they'll reload like 90 times to get it to proc and it's it's insane but it's not worth the effort in my opinion at one point in new york it was so orange you could barely see the sun that's horrible that's really sad too let's keep the syntax on this whoops all right sleep again to reset our uh, 
well rested, I guess. I'm trying to think if I'm missing anything here. Normal Mintats get a little bit of intelligence, right? It's charisma. Maybe I just need to pop the normal intelligence thing. Two intelligence. Yeah, it's probably worth it because I can always buy more Mintats, so go ahead and pop these. Have I gotten it without loading? I, I think I have accidentally gotten it before on, on quests. It, it's not very common, but... Man, this is fun. I think I have to find the auto hotkey script, guys, because this is going to be super tedious otherwise. Um, let me find this auto hotkey script. I have no idea where I put it. I don't think I put it in my normal area here. I know I uploaded it to the Discord. Uh, it was like button presser or something. Let me check Discord. I used to play Fallout a lot in 2020, but I haven't played since, and you're making me want to play again. That's how it always happens, man. Someone will start playing it, and then you'll get to go, hey, I can do better than that chump. Watch how much better I play than this idiot on YouTube calling himself the efficient gamer. Uh, let's see. I think it's here. Auto hotkey, there it is, okay. Button masher IHK. Mode. Running it. Need to look at the script again to make sure I have the Button. So toggle, uh, asterisk button on the numpad. I kind of learned more about auto hotkey as well since, since I made this. Okay. So it's an asterisk button that starts mashing. Okay. Okay. I'm more excited to see what the base building would be like in Starfield. I don't think you're weird, but uh, has it been verified that there is base building? Okay. Let's uh, go ahead and pop. I, what is going on with my screen, by the way? Did I bug something out? Oh, it's just really bright out. Jeez Louise. Cleared up quick. Okay, I need to fly first in case somehow I screw this up. And tats. Okay, I pressed the wrong button right off the bat. Good job, Dan. And let's go. Shipbuilding, yeah. My friend just keeps telling me how obsessed he is with the idea of being a space pirate. He's like, as long as I can be a space pirate, I'll give them any amount of money for that game. Wow, that was a long gap without an idiot's bomb perk there. Uh, rock. I'm gonna grab water real quick while this is doing its thing. Or wait, I mean, I'm at the keyboard right now. I'm not automatically pressing buttons, but I might go silent for a little bit.
go. Zen and the art of spamming shells. Yes. This is like a ASMR, guys. Now we're getting some good procs. It's starting to slow down. I don't want to stop until... I lose uh, Mentats, but I might have to. I think it's going to freak out otherwise, so. So what you do is you pick something you don't have materials for, like this, and then you press the button again, and now it will mostly scrap, but sometimes build. 2030, yeah. Yep, I'm playing on very hard, Kayo. Oh yeah, I need to be licking the microphone. Those they do have microphones that are shaped like ears, right? I swear I'm pressing this button every single time. I'm just really fast at tapping. I don't even know what auto hotkey is. Some people might say, if you're gonna do this, what's the point? Why not just console command a bunch of experience to yourself? And they are probably right, but uh, something feels slightly less icky about doing it this way. Oh well, yeah, turbo controller. That's what auto hotkey is, it's just a turbo controller for your Slightly more powerful than a turbo controller, though. Hey, okay. we're almost cleared up. I can start building again. Here we go. Shelving again. Shelve till your heart is content. I swear she's literally cheating. Yeah. Uh, Kyo, no, I'm not. Um, usually, for that to be eff effective, you have to be able to duplicate the bronze statue or the bronze material. So that's usually goes along with a duping glitch that I don't do. Otherwise, it's just too hard to get enough materials to make it worthwhile. And um, I only really need to do settlement building at the beginning for experience because eventually I'm going to build a gunner farm, which is much more uh, efficient experience. What level am I up to? Ten? That's actually kind of bad. I thought it, I got higher level than ten. I thought I got to like level 15 doing this. I mean, still it's like a logarithmic decay here. Cuts in half and then cuts in half and cuts in half, but I feel like, well, maybe I'll be okay. Have I ever built factory in a playthrough? I've messed with the factories, I just can never get anything very cool. Other than making Santa's workshop. 
Um, this is both Kayo. <laughs> I'm not really, it's just a max build. So my intelligence is 12 right now with the coat I'm wearing. And then I have idiot Savant as well. Because eventually I'm going to max every stat on this. It, it's, it's the perfect playthrough. So you max every stat. Okay, it's slowing down. I need to, uh. scrap for a little bit um i do not do the duplicate glitch on anything i just max the stats through leveling and then i get the bobbleheads after the stats are maxed to get them another point and then i use a special book just on one stat to get it to 12. yeah i bet it is mdm okay i'm sure i just I don't really need it when I do this kind of run specifically because I always get really good merchants and they always have a lot of ammo. There's a really nice mod that makes uh, manufacturing much better in the game. I think it's called Manufacturing Extended. And it adds a few more tools that makes it a lot better and a lot easier to work with. No, we lost Mentats. My favorite and least favorite main quests to do. Uh, you know, my favorite main quest, the one that always just sticks in my mind, because I always have to hold off on doing it until I make a decision about which faction I want to work with, is probably the uh, mass fusion or whatever it's called on the other side. I forgot what it's called on the other side. As for least favorite, like main quests, Um, I don't really like, uh, what, what, what don't I like? I had it and I forgot what I was going to say. Um, going to talk to Virgil. <laughs> Running through that a whole area. Uh, I'm just trying to think of tedious ones. The one with the Corsair at the top of the building, where you have to follow the beeps first, and you have to go all the way up that building with all the gunners. That one's kind of pretty tedious as well. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Digital Nomad, yeah. Uh, have you ever played with uh, the Settlements mod? I forgot what it's called. It's, it's by King Gath. That's a really cool mod that lets you uh, your settlements sort of manage themselves. You can even set a mayor for each settlement. That one's a lot of fun. Nice, Kayo. Yeah, Donna, I just found the, the manufacturing to be very buggy. Oh, yeah. I always skip that one, Digital Nomad. I just run to uh, the fort. I don't even bother following the dog. I just magically know where Kellogg is. Sim Settlements, yeah, that's it. It's an awesome mod. I definitely recommend it if you enjoy settlement stuff. Um, especially if you're like me and you, you're not great at building beautiful settlements. It, they have templates and stuff that um, they essentially build into, which is very cool. How are we doing on levels? Oh my gosh. 
Okay, so now when you run out of materials, it'll just do this for a while. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is horrible to listen to. <laughs> it's like interrupting the idiot's Savon sound with the scrap. What level? Let's get this level 15. Oh, 13. Oh my gosh. This is not good. Yeah, I gotcha. This is horrible. All right, I'm gonna do a full scrap first because <laughs> it's painful to listen to. It's not lights. It's I feel like I'm not getting as many levels as I usually do. You know what, I also need to build defense. Food, defense, all that stuff. Um, I do have the int uh, lab coat, empty ammo can I? I had to reset. I think I only had to reset once to get it. It was super lucky. I got it on the second run through the vault. But I didn't get the Ushanka hat, unfortunately. Uh, Kayo, I'm gonna leave once. Um... But I'm gonna scout out the random thing and hope that I, it's not one of the uh, merchants. And uh, I'll probably go ahead and rescue the settlers in Concord as well, which is gonna give a little boost. Um, okay. Another round of shelves. Maybe one more level. Once I hit the next level, I think I'll stop. I might not even hit the next level. Well, it's gonna be close. Yeah, I think I'm gonna hit it. It's just gonna be real close. I need to get charisma up to 10. Uh, I need the improved buying and selling prices. What other perks do I really need uh, before I head out? So what uh what makes you a digital nomad? Do you work online? Do you I know a lot of people who are teaching English online. Uh and then they would just live in really cheap countries to live in. My friend did that. She lived in Turkey and taught English in China. Although China is a little rough to teach in right now cuz they got rid of their uh date of English teaching. They made it illegal. They can only be taught English by Chinese, native Chinese, it's weird. So like a lot, a huge business shut down. There we go.
Easy Fallout, what's up? Alright, so I definitely need to get Charisma up. I probably need to get Cap Collector. I know I need Cap Collector to build the. Ooh, that's what I need to look at as a level four merchants. There's a couple perks I need for those. Uh. Cruising down the street in my 6-4. Okay, local leader rank 2, cap collector rank 2. Local leader rank 2, cap collector rank 2. Local leader rank 2, cap collector rank 2. Okay, I think it was just the clinic, right? Medic rank 1. Okay, medic is a nice perk anyway. Okay, local leader cap. So I, I need medic rank 1. And I need Cap Collector. Which means I'm gonna need to get to level 20 from building more stuff. Uh, I'm gonna get a lot of concrete, I believe, and I'll be able to build stuff, so. That shouldn't be an issue. Uh, medic. All right, we're good. I'm gonna save the other levels in case I miss something. Now I might have to uh ooh, shout it out in the comments. This is gonna be rough. Uh very hard difficulty. I'm gonna go ahead and try to do I'm gonna try to do Concord. Oops, I What do you guys like better? I like the summer shorts. No, I'm, I'm, I got the professor thing going. Let's go. But I'm gonna wear this for now for damage resist. Uh, okay. Uh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Digital nomad is, it's a kind of popular term for people who essentially they live somewhere really cheap and then they work remotely and then they get like, you know, get a lot of extra money doing that. I didn't get Carla yet. For hard saving and I'm going to scout out the Concord one and make sure it's not doc or Ron Staples. Then I can get Carla and do sanctuary and it should be pretty safe. I think there there's a roaming encounter or whatever that could screw it up, but I don't know exactly where it is and I don't I've never seen the scribe there personally, but I trust chat on that. Puppy. Come here puppy. Pretty guy is a good boy. Hey boy, what are you doing out here all by yourself? You want to come with me? Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Oh, did I forget to get the gear back here, by the way? I, think I, did. I need some armor. This is going to hurt. Chili, nice. Did I clear this? No, I just ran right past him. What an idiot. I don't mind going at night. A little stealth might help, but probably not that much. I can get the, uh, while I'm here, I can definitely get the charisma glasses. Oh, I don't need them. I have charisma glasses. Never mind. Never mind. Like Nirvana said, never mind. I didn't say that, that's just the name of their album. What the 
heck? Where are you going? Jeez, Louise. Gosh. Nightmare. All right, so I'm trying to remember exactly where the spawn point is. I believe it's right at this stop sign, actually. So this should shuffle, like this should be outside of the cell. And then I'm going to run in and check and make sure it's not any uh, encounter that I particularly care about. Oh, feral ghouls, perfect. Now I can actually go work with these uh, settlers here. Although, does it reset when I come out of the building? I might have to check the encounter again and make sure it's still ghouls. Oh, it's okay, generic. How's it going? Yeah, get him, dog meat. Eee, that hurt. Come on, Preston, put in work. Was having fun, jeez. I can do this. Jeez, Louise, that was horrible. You know, it might be fun. Always stim pack dog meat. Never leave him hanging. Hey, we got a full set of leather. That's cool. And road leathers. There we go. Now we're styling. Now we're looking good. Clear the outside, Carla, then back to the museum. Um, the only reason I kind of want to do clear the inside. It's pixely, really? Is anyone else getting a pixely? Now I look snappy. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the stream. It's internet, so. My internet should be good. Hey, happy pre birthday. You got anything planned? Okay, let's go get Carla, and then I'm going to check the spawn again to make sure nothing changed. Okay, it's blurring there. Weird. I'm watching it actually live stream because that's the only way I can see chat quickly. It doesn't look blurry on my screen, so. I don't know. Going the right way? Now, where's the encounter that I could screw up? Is there any way to see it from here? Right down here. It's purple. Is it this right here? Is this the encounter? The campfire? I don't think so. No, that's not it. I think it's just a roaming encounter, or they walk down the street. Huh? Hey. So what's your story? Looking to trade? Rob. Breton. 
We go sarcastic. Just looking for love, baby. But I'll tell you what. Okay. That's it. That's all we need to do. I'll take a look. Always happy. See if she's got anything cool right now, though. Baseball bat. You know we love baseball bats. Um. Yeah, I'm just trying to queue and see if I see anything. I don't see anything here. Sell the extra leather. Buy the four-way. Oh, okay. I'm going to double check behind and then I'm going to do something very crazy. Did she sell Ushenka? I didn't even check. I should check though. You're right. Let's see what you have. Yeah, yeah, keep your shit. She does have Ushanka. And a Pompadour wig. Whoa, she's got uh, both of them. Holy mackerel, let me put on my uh, lovely outfit here real fast. Sweater, vest, and slacks. Need to pick something up? It's pretty long from here. Charisma and... Let's see what you got. I got a little bit of everything. Just looking for sweet, sweet discount. Endurance hat. Oh, 38. Okay, I gotta sell. Yeah, let's sell some extra leather. Raider stuff. Who cares about Raider stuff? Sell a wedding ring. Okay. All right. Very good. Just gonna make sure that encounter is still feral ghouls. Then we're gonna have some fun. If anyone knows me, they know my idea of fun. Still feral ghouls. Didn't reset, that's good. Um gonna hard save out here in case I screw this up, but oh, that's not it. oh right here, yeah. <laughs> Let's have some fun guys. I think that's not um, the connection. I think that has to do with how it's being captured for whatever reason. I don't know why. Uh, I think that's OBS um, causing weird frame stuff. There's a ceiling one. Isn't there the third one? Where's the third one? Oh, is that little guy? Okay. <laughs> Who the thunk I'd be doing some Oh, you're welcome, Floyd. That's what we're working on eventually on this run as well. But I'm taking a detour. That might be stupid, but uh, I'm having fun. We're we're loot locking, popping and loot locking. There he is. There you are, you legendary sucker. I'm gonna take any decent weapon. I'm not gonna spend too long here. God, he's got so much. Weapon. I'm not gonna take armor. Um, if I can get the uh, laser musket, 
laser musket would be ideal, but I wouldn't mind taking like maybe even a 10 millimeter. I don't know. What do you guys think? Yeah, certainly not Raider armor. That's gross. The one issue here is there's no way to do the advanced loot locking, unfortunately. I, I tested so many times to try to get it to work. I think that's the one, though. That's the only one I need to check. Oh, no, it's not. There's more than one. I'm wrong. Did it die, please? Leather. Red leather, yellow leather. Okay, well, I hope you do something fun, generic. Ooh, a bleed shotgun, a wounding uh, shotgun. Hey, that's actually a pretty good idea, too. If I get a wounding double barrel or a never-ending double barrel, that would be great. Yeah, ten, you can get double barrel, though, as well, right? And you can also get laser musket, I believe. So there's some good options here, especially if I'm not too concerned about getting the exact right one. Two-shotter instigating laser musket, explosive pipe gun, double barrel shotgun. Yeah, yes to all that. Yeah, Digital Nomad, I think that's what's going on. I don't know how to resolve it. Uh, Never-ending double barrel would be hilarious. I made a video about that. There's a lot of great options, which is why I don't really mind, because I'm not going to target anything specific. So, like, 50% of the weapons are going to be something worth pursuing. Automatic laser musket, yeah. <laughs> That's it. I don't like it, though. I don't like how it shoots. Um, it's based on the level of the enemy, right? And this is a level one enemy, I believe, or level five or something. I don't have the perk, so I don't know for sure. Oh, I love when I bug them out into the ceiling here. Bug him out, get it? Because he's a cockroach. <sighs> Exploding pipe is kind of funny. I also think keeping exploding on the table might be good for uh, later when I need to farm an explosive combat shotgun or an explosive uh, minigun. Not the bug them out joke. Oh no. What's up, Myth GT? What's a good way to level up if you don't have any of the DLCs? Uh, quests. <laughs> do, do a lot of quests. Do Radiant quests for the different factions. Radiant quests you can do over and over again. Oh man, I don't want to. I really don't want to pipe. All right, let's see. Well, also it's a revolver, which means I got to mod it to be something I want. All right, I'm I'm not gonna take a pipe. Bug him out. There we go. Um, it's kind of weird because enemy levels scale off of your character level, but some enemy levels are fixed. So it's a weird thing where yes, it's based off your character level, but it's because your character level can change the level of the enemy in the area. But since these are rad roaches, their level's fixed at 5 or 10, I believe. He bugged out again, guys. Guys, he bugged out. SMG? Can we get a... Uh... <laughs> Can we get a spray and pray right off the bat? Should we get a uh, wish.com spray and pray, guys? Oh, 
Oh, cool. I'm glad to hear it, Myth GT. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> All right, we're going wish.com spray and pray. Save us from having to walk down. As long as explosives on the table. Are there any other ones that are worthwhile for this? Probably not. He didn't bug out. Oh god, he didn't bug out. Now he's bugging me. Oh my god, right off the bat. <laughs> so that's called loot locking, guys. I don't know if, if anyone is unfamiliar with loot locking. I don't mind explaining it. Wounding would be cool too. We'll go explosive because it's funny. Uh, 45 rounds. Those drop pretty commonly, right? All right, now what's gonna happen, I predict, I'm gonna go back and check the uh, spawn and it's gonna be Doc Brown, Doc Brown. <laughs> it's gonna be uh, the doctor or it's gonna be Ron Staples. Yeah, Nuka, Nuka World's great. I have videos about the Nuka World one. I think I, I mean, I don't know if I created it, but I certainly popularized the uh, Nuka World lock method. Where am I? I'm going the wrong way. I'm just going to run out of ammo way too fast, I think. Still feral ghouls. Okay, we're good now. We can do another hard save. Now it's time to go rescue these guys. I'm gonna save this, and I might use it on the death claw. I think I'm gonna use it on the death claw with whatever ammo I can get, because I think it'll make that fight more reasonable, especially since we're playing on very hard. Cool. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm not playing any Creation Club stuff. I was thinking about picking some up, but let's go Laser Musket for now, I guess. Does good damage. All right. This is going to give us a head start on um, getting our settlements up by getting four settlers, five settlers. Let's see. Yeah, five settlers. One that doesn't want to do any work. She just wants you to build a dang chair for her. Okay, that didn't one-shot him. That's cool. Oh my god, I'm toast. Don't say names like that. That's not nice. Not hitting them. This is perfectly not enough to one shot. This is horrible. And I'm using all my med, med packs. No more precious occupation. Oh yeah. Jack and apes. Whoa. Well, that was a bad shot. Huh? That wasn't a bad shot. I am really just burning through my stim packs here. If anyone didn't know, there's bobby pins on top of this terminal. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna crack the terminal, but then I'm not gonna unlock it. Oh, crap, I forgot, it can bug out there. These are super easy to do since I have high intelligence. This is one of the best reasons to play high intelligence builds, by the way. Uh, moved, this one. 
Oh wait, I didn't get the experience for it. Oh no, don't bug out, thank you. Did I get the experience for it? Whatever. Yes, high intelligence is good. Where? Wait, sorry. Uh, for the loot lock, it's right by that, uh, it's, it's kind of, if you go out of this building, turn right, and then you see that weird pod thing i don't know what they're, it's called but it's right next to the pod thing knife there on a knife build his head fell off there you are his head fell off too There's some 45 rounds. Let's go. Sensor module. I think that's got some good scrap ability. And I should also have been wearing the correct armor the whole time. What a knucklehead I am, huh? And the Oshanka hat. Yes, okay. No, not sweater vest. Oh my god. Road leathers. I wish you could like save a loadout. Uh, Nelson, have you ever considered a perfect playthrough on Survive? Yes! Once I get to 10k subs, I will do a perfect playthrough, or at least a playthrough on Survival. I don't like Survival, but I said I will play it if I get to 10k subs. And we just hit 8k. So, when I first said it, I think I was at 2k subs, so it was uh, pretty far out there, but now it's getting closer. Stuff here. Stuff. That'll do, pig. Uh, Tom, I played survival a little bit before I was even playing, uh, before I was even uh, doing YouTube. I played a bit, and it was terrible. I, I just didn't like it. I felt like the challenges weren't really challenges, just annoyances more than challenge. You know what I mean? There's a crash vertebrate up on the roof. Old school, pre-war. Right. Well, looks like one of its passengers. Save it when you hide in the bush and just reload until you get what you want. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. I like it. <laughs> get the NK, suit. Yeah. You... Minigun. Let him get 10k. Let him cook. But Let Dan cook. Actually, I already grabbed the fuse. Well, all. Luck's finally turning around. That's good. Uh oh yeah. Do not grab this bobblehead and let until you have ten perception. I think last time I did a perfect playthrough, I put my perception up to ten, just so I could grab this bobblehead and not worry about it. So one of the things about bobbleheads, if you, I mean, I'm sure most people know this. If I grab this now, then my maximum perception is 10. If I wait until my perception is already 10 by leveling perception, then I grab the bobblehead. It puts it at a natural 11. Empty ammo can. I just have the bobbleheads that I bought before. I haven't really set up a lot in, the, in here. It's actually worse than, I don't even have the shoes set out or anything. I haven't done a lot. I actually finally, like, I had a big pile of stuff that I was unpacking and trying to figure out what to do with. It sat here for like two weeks on the floor and my wife went crazy and finally I took care of it. I feel like if I hard save here, um, then if the encounter resets to something I don't want, I can probably fix it.
Oh dear. That's exactly. Speaking of that, I'm gonna have to go in like um, about 15 minutes. Probably, I gotta drop her off. She's got a book club, um, but I'll be back. So I don't know if I'll leave the stream running in AFK or I'll just do a new, I think I'll just do a new one. But I'll, I'll stream again for a couple more hours after that too. Perfect shot to me. Uh, I don't want to use any 45 ammo. Let's use pistol for now, I guess. Oh, Preston got him. Rest in gravy. Oh, yeah. I let her read, unfortunately. She reads a lot more than I do. A lot more than I do. Um, you know what? I'm wearing power armor. We go ham with the with the knuckles. The tire iron. Let's go with the tire iron. And if you don't know this, when you're in power armor, your strength is automatically set to eleven. about to be dealing with something here. Yeah, there we go. Pray. Oh my god, he's out already. Oh my god. I need to get set up before I start fighting him. I'm used to playing a game now that uh, Elden Ring, you can't save while you're, you can't pause while you're going through your menu, so I'm like freaking out running away. All right, let's see how much damage I can get with this if I use it well. Cool, he's taking care of some. Oh my. Whoa! <laughs> the ultimate yeet. He's hit. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh no, this is gonna hurt. It's not that well, that did okay. Not as much as I hoped, but I mean, I also don't have any investment in explosive at all, so. Makes sense. We'll finish him with the minigun. Oh my god, leave me alone! Jerk. Power armor set strength to 11. What happens when you put military paint on your armor? I think you get a 12th strength. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Let me think about this. Explosive expert is all freaking deception. I can't get it. Okay. Yeah, what a jerk.
I wish I could maybe hit him in the leg and... Also, his, his head's not his weak spot, so I don't know why I always target his head. I always screw it up, it's his belly. Oh, that didn't work at all. Hey, the explosion on the car got him. He's crawling. Yeah, that guy's a pain on uh, very hard, isn't he? Where's this other jerk? In here? I can't use Nux while I'm in power armor. Okay. Where's my unarmed power armor run? It's okay, explosive's fine. Whoa. Who's shooting? Okay, I need to do another check this area and if it's anyone else. Barrel ghoul still, okay, good. I mean, it may seem excessive to keep checking, but I think every time you go into a building, it has the possibility to reset, so. It's just better safe than sorry, obviously, because if I screw it up, I have to go way, way, way back. See you empty, take care. Big Jim, bust his legs up, yeah. Listen, when we first... Uh-huh. You're welcome. Well, since... All right, Garvey. Oh. Please, tell me. You'll remain... Uh-huh. I knew it. I mean, we've been here. Please, Mama... Look. Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That junk. It's gonna kill you. Ah, shush, Preston. Crippling minigun would have been cool, yeah. Yeah, the explosive blew up the car, I think, or helped blow up the car, which uh, really hurt the death clock quite a bit. All right, here we go. Check one more time, and then head back. I don't know if this is, this is not a bad strat, I think, as long as you're thorough with checking and making sure that you don't get any uh, level four merchant spawns, you're okay. Still got feral ghouls, okay, good. There are miniguns and explosive bullets in Starfield, what? Oh yeah, Corvega assembly plant is one of the early Minutemen quests. That's really like the first big challenge, right? When if you're just playing like a normal person and going through the game, it's one of the first quests you get, you know, and I don't really think Concord is that difficult, but then you get to it's a very big difficulty spike, actually. Take the keys out of the car. OK, hey, we got a visitor. Put on our charming gear. Hey there, sweetheart. Pompadour wig. And uh, sweater vest and slacks. 
how charming we look now. That is so charming. Oh, not with the tire iron out, though. Uh, oh, take out the uh, purified water from here. And... Put some stuff away. Oh, I wanted to keep the explosive submachine gun for now. I also have poison caltrops. You again. Here to trade. Time to go. All right, give me two minutes. Let's see what you got. Yeah, yeah, keep it short. You want to say hi, Jen? Everybody, Donna's here. Hello. <laughs> Lloyd's here. Myth GT's here. Ian's here. Digital Nomad is here. Ah, you don't know anybody. <laughs> This is Jen, my wife. Saves. Saves. Yeah. Are you guys having fun? <laughs> you guys having a good time? You partying <laughs> up in here? Hello and bye. Hello and bye. <laughs> uh, 864. Um, let's see, can I afford any shipments? Copper is very important. I don't think I can afford... Well, maybe. Not quite, actually. I need to grab my caltrops. Poison caltrops. That is. And then I can use, I can buy shipments of steel as well to get more poison caltrops, probably. Hey, Carla. You again. This is a W stream. Trade. Are you not entertained? Did you break it? Gladiator with Russell Crowe, who I just mentioned to you yesterday. He's got some movie on Netflix. What was that movie? I, I forgot. I don't know. Uh, how much do I get from these couches? Oh, no, don't sell that. Oh, man, look at that. I get Caltrops rich. Six fifty two, six fifty one. Oh, no, I have too much. Hi, generic villager. Villager, thumbs down. Yeah, with any exactly. I need to go farm an explosive minigun ASAP. Steel, screws, wood. Okay, then I can. These poison cow traps are crazy valuable. Oh, you know what? No, I'm I'm backwards. <laughs> Can't afford all this. I made the GT. Okay, that's fine. All right. It's going to be the best I can do, and uh, that'll help me build some more stuff. You break it, you buy it, exactly. On the treadmill. Okay, I got to take Jen. I'll be back in probably 30 minutes or so, so I'll see you guys in a bit. But I'm going to stop the stream for now. Catch you all later.